came over when I was seven years old. It was the Coyotes that I crossed with. So my parents were waiting in Austin for us. It was my sister and I who at the time, she was two years old. And so they had given us some kind of sleeping pills or sleeping whatever it was. So uh, my sister was passed out. <laughs> I was just there in the back pretending to be asleep. And so I remember like the border patrol um, stopping us not too sure what else happened. English was very hard. Um, I, I, what I do remember and I recall is that I didn't want people to have the perception of me being dumb because I didn't know the language. I knew I was smart because I was good at math and science, but obviously the language itself was a barrier. My senior year in high school, I took every single pre p and AP course available, and I made sure to always try to do good, and so after that my English did get better, fortunately. Junior year, I couldn't be in band anymore because I wanted to start working so I decided to quit and so I started working at McDonald's illegally at the time. I worked full-time during my senior year. Senior year was the hardest. From 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. I would be at school. At 3 I would be in at work. Um, so I would work from like 3 p.m. to all the way to 11 p.m. Come home and do work. Um, some of it I get, I would get it done. Some of it I wouldn't. So the next day I would try to get up early. So college started. Um, my first, my first year went through. It was by far the hardest year. Um, there was times when I had to confiscate money for not confiscate, um, sacrifice money for food. Um, I didn't want to call my parents be like, I need money, because I knew they were having to use that money for my four siblings that were at home at the time. I would use some of the money for buying books instead of uh, buying myself food. So my diet now then was ramen noodles and oatmeal. <laughs> um, at the time, I started getting more into my uh, engineering degree. So class is getting tougher. Um, not too sure along the time the timeline of it, but my dad got ran over by a car. He was he's the main provider of our family, and so he wasn't able to work for for a while. He's a roofer, so um, my mom stepped in and she was working three four jobs at the time. She's definitely someone I look up to. Um, even the days that I was sick, I was like, my mom goes to work sick, I can go to work and school sick. Um, both her and my dad pulled us through so many times. Um, I would see how much they worked and to try to keep me in school. Um, by no means, I was never ungrateful and I never un like, not recognized their hard work multiple times I was in that registering office asking us to what were the guidelines of withdrawing. I, there was multiple times when I thought of wanting to withdraw from school because I just couldn't handle having to see my family going through this. Um, but my parents have always been positive mind thinking, thinkers to where they're like, we got this, like just keep doing good at school. With all of that being said, um, five years later, I finished school with zero dollars in debt, uh, with an engineering degree on top of that, and with two job offers before graduating. Um, I knew the outcome. Um, I see things as 
and I try to see things in an objective manner. Um, I knew the outcome, um, and I knew he was going to be elected. I knew his beliefs, and I knew what he was proposing, and I knew what was said, being said about everything that we, he was saying. I prayed um, that he would be a leader to this country. I was, I was very saddened, very saddened more than anything. Um, I don't, I'm not a person to try to keep resentment on people or be angry again. I'm very objective towards things. I try to be at least. Um, but more than anything, saddened because um, here's a great opportunity. I took full advantage of it. Um, I can definitely say I took full advantage of it. My driver's license, studying abroad, having a job, pursuing my dreams. And here comes this and all of that can be taken away. Um, but still very saddened with it, still trying to cope with it. Um, I try to make the best out of it to where I use that energy um, to, to keep working even harder.